Hey everyone, it's Haley, and today is Bookmas Day 18, so today I'm going to be doing a ridiculous video. So I had plans to do another video. Some of the Bookmas things have moved around, but you guys know what today's video is already. It is my Merry Christmas to me book haul. So I don't really get books as gifts because most books I can buy at a discounted price because I work at a bookstore, so I usually just buy myself books. So I had bought myself all of these books, and I literally went and I wrapped them to unwrap them in this video. I don't know what level of narcissist that is, but like I just wanted to treat myself and treat my shelf because I was so good this year. I wrote two books. I deserve this. Half of the books just fell on me. I don't remember what is in any of this wrapping. I don't even remember what I got, but like we've got so much to unwrap, so let's get into it. Also, we are in a very festive setting because we are at my real life Christmas tree and we've got snowman and rain deer in the background so we are just ho ho home for the holidays. So the fact that these are wrapped is also kind of a hindrance because if I mess up I can't just cut it because I will be unwrapping them and I can't like rewrap it so that sucks. But we're gonna start with this so let's see I guarantee I don't know like anything about half of these books. Oh I should unwrap it for you. Da, da, da. It's upside down. Yay! So we have all the ever afters. The Untold Story of Cinderella's Stepmother by Danielle Teller. This is obviously about Cinderella's stepmother and I'm intrigued to get a backstory on that villain because you guys know I love stories that are talking about villains and really examining why they're villains, how they became that way. So this sounds like a recipe for success for me. It's actually an adult novel so that is off brand but hopefully I will enjoy it. I'm trying to get the tape off. I am struggling. Let's go for this little number and the pretty snowflake wrapping next. So it's a hardcover, obviously. But what is it? What is it? Oh, what? It's a book that I already own. What? So I do already own A Map of Days by Ransom Riggs, but this is a Barnes & Noble exclusive signed copy. I went to Barnes & Noble, yes, and I got myself some things. So you can see that is signed here. So that is lovely. And this was a very good sequel to the Miss Peregrine's trilogy. And I can't wait for book five to come out and then book six after that, because this is book four. And that was a sentence full of information that you were like, why did you tell me? But I did. Next is this gift with my favorite wrapping on it. It has this little Christmassy dinosaur. Look at he's so happy to be there. I'm trying to think of a dinosaur's name that I can make Christmassy, but I can't. Tinselsaurus Rex? No, that was bad. Let's open it. Na 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 na. Oh, it's another book I already own. So here we have struggles. We have The Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon. This is the Barnes and Noble exclusive edition, and it is once again a signed copy. She signed it in purple, which I love because it has purple edges. I'm a sucker for colored edges, but especially purple. And as you know, if you watched Book Miss Day 17, I think it was, this is becoming a movie in 2019. So that is so exciting. Next, we have another great wrapping and this has cats and dogs and cats and dogs. Oh my, all over it. So let's see what this big brick is. Oh, look at that. So this was on my book bucket list video that I did recently, but I didn't own it. So it is Gone with the Wind by Margaret Mitchell. And this is a story I've heard a lot about. I know one of my friends really, really loves it. So I felt like I had to have it and who knows when I will get to it. Cause oh my goodness, thin Bible pages and oh my goodness, tiny font. It's so big. How many pages is it actually? 959 pages. Well, this is going to take me a long time to get to, but hopefully eventually. Next, let's see what we've got here. This is really fun. I should just do all of my book hauls in a surprise unwrapping format. Da, da, da. Oh, it's Children of Blood and Bone. Once again, Barnes and Noble had a signed copy, so I had to get it for myself. Ta-da! She also signs like really close to the bottom of the page because one of them was like cut off, which was very confusing for me. Actually, you know what? I bet she just had like the sheets of paper and then when the printer cut it, it cut it off, but mine was not cut off, so that's good. Also, so you've probably heard me talk about this book because I've talked about it a lot this book miss and really everyone has been talking about it all year long. Next, this mysteriously shaped square book. What could it be? Arr! 
struggles oh my god wow it's a completely new title that i've never read or owned before what what is this book oh my god alice's adventures in wonderland by lewis carroll i've never heard of it but it sounds really interesting and it looks super cute so that's fun sarcasm detectors should be going off right now and if they're not just to let you know i'm being sarcastic because this is copy like 75 next Christmas trees. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. What book could you be? Oh, it's The Geography of Lost Things by Jessica Brody. So Jessica Brody is an author I've talked about a lot during Bookmas because I've talked quite a bit about The Chaos of Standing Still by her, which I read last New Year's because it's a story set on New Year's Eve. It's really good, but this is her next book and I actually don't know what it was about. I just was like, yes, please, I like. It seems to be about a road trip, which is always fun. I love that stuff. There's an ex-boyfriend in involved a road trip goes off to a horrible start filled with unexpected detours roadblocks and all the uncomfortable attention that comes from being chapped in a car with your ex i said chapped not trapped but i was trying to say trapped but struggles but when nico starts collecting items from the quirky strangers they meet along the way ali starts to sense that these objects aren't random somehow they seem to be leading her to an unknown truth about her father interesting so oh her strange father passed away and left her this convertible so that makes sense i'm intrigued and and she writes a lot of like sad but happy stories so I'm thinking this will be the same and by a lot I mean I read the one by her so next stripey paper stripey paper wow I wrapped this one really intensely why would I do that when I knew I was going to be unwrapping it almost immediately wah, wah, wah. The Grapes of Wrath by John Steinbeck. I sincerely apologize that I keep on singing, but this is obviously The Grapes of Wrath by John Steinbeck, the 75th anniversary edition. I've only read Of Mice and Men by John Steinbeck, but I feel like I want to read some more, so I felt like this was the next one that I had heard the most about, and then maybe The Pearl, I think, is the other one, but this one I've definitely heard a lot about, and I believe it is set in California, maybe not. I really don't know, but I will find out. And our next book here is an oddly shaped one. Ooh! I'm super excited about this book. So it is Pages and Co. Tilly and the Book Wanderers by Anna James. So this is all about this girl named Tilly who lives in a bookshop with her grandmother and then somehow she ends up following Anne from Anne of Green Gables and Alice from Alice in Wonderland into a book and that just sounds so fantastic. I'm so excited to like wander through the pages of a book in this book. It just looks like such a beautiful book. Like the cover is honestly what intrigued me because I saw Anne and Alice and that just it feels like it was written for me. And and the inside is so beautiful and there's also illustrations like actually scattered throughout the text and I don't really have any examples but there's certain parts where the text will be like going down say if the word is down I don't know how to describe that to you but the point is it seems like there was a lot of work that went into the creation of this book and it looks like such a fun middle grade story so I can't wait and I hope it doesn't disappoint me because I'm super pumped for it joy to the world it says that on the wrapping paper I'm not just screaming at you for no particular reason. Oh, look at that. What? So here we have another edition of Alice. This is one that I saw at Barnes & Noble and I didn't have it. So I was like, that's a cute cover. I should get it. I'm so on brand. Next is Candy Cane. So let's see what we have. I think I wrapped this one. Yeah, I wrapped this one strangely because I was trying to use scraps of wrapping paper and it's basically double wrapped, obviously. Wow, struggles. Ooh, it's Ella Enchanted by Gail Carson Levine. I loved this movie. I went and saw it for someone's birthday, I remember, and I distinctly remember we were young enough that, like, when the kiss part happened, we were all like, oh my god, scandal, ew! It was hilarious, but I've seen this movie many a time, and I really want to read the book. I get the one song, I think it's Somebody to Love, stuck in my head, and now it's going to be stuck in my head for the rest of the day, but I've heard great things about the novel, and Ogre Enchanted came out recently, and that has been intriguing me, so I figured I should start with this, and then maybe I'll move on to that. Next, we have some snowmen on the wrapping paper and this is struggling 1984 by George Orwell. I have read this book, but I don't actually own a copy of it. So I picked up this copy, which I think is really nice with like the cogs, the wheels. What are they called? Why can't I think of it? I think I got it right. I don't know. But this is the Penguin English Library Edition. Santa Claus has come to town. Oh, 
Oh, that was really good because towns is in the title. So this is Dress Codes for Small Towns by Courtney Stevens. I know when this was out just in hardcover, I'd heard a lot about it and then I kind of stopped hearing things about it. So I don't know what it's about. I just had heard so many great things that I felt like I should get it. So I guess I'll find out when I do actually read it. I think that's the way that I want to go with it. All right, and next, get this one here. Oh, I remember this one. So this one I picked up at work. I had heard nothing about it, but I thought it sounded adorable. So it is a love story, I believe, about two teen chefs who go to cooking school, I think it is, in Paris. But yeah, so take two American teen chefs, add one heaping cup of Paris, toss in a pinch of romance, and stir. How cute does that sound? I love watching baking shows and all that stuff. So like, I'm so excited. Also, the cover is adorable with the Eiffel Tower making an ice cream cone. Like, oh my God. I don't think I ever actually said the title for this one, but it is Love a la Mode by Stephanie Kate Strom. I think she's written stuff before. Has she? Ah, uh, yes, she has. But this one appeals to me the most. I'm very pumped for it. And now we have our final book here. We have reached the end of my Merry Christmas to Me book haul. That is tragic. So, oh, geez, I'm dropping it everywhere. Yay. So the final book here is Illusionarium by Heather Dixon. This is the author of Entwined, which is a retelling of the 12 Dancing Princess and it is one that I very much enjoyed. So I'm excited to read her next book. She has beautiful book covers, but this I'm assuming is like a steampunky sort of thing. There's gateways to parallel worlds and he can open them. I don't know, but I guess we'll find out. So that's all for my Merry Christmas to Me book haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know it was a little bit different than what I usually do, but I was talking about how I had gotten myself so many things. Like I got myself some board games that aren't actually in yet, but I was like, Merry Christmas to me. I was so good this year. I deserved all of the things. I'm my dad was like, you should just wrap them all and open them for a video. So that is what I did. So thank you, dad, for this idea. It was very fun. I quite enjoyed it and I hope you did as well. So that is all for Book Miss Day 18. Don't forget to click that subscribe button then click that bell icon so you'll be notified whenever I post. I'm putting up new videos every single day right up until Christmas. You can also follow me on all of my social media, all my handles, links, all of that stuff will be down below for you guys. So thank you guys so, so much for watching today's video and I will see you tomorrow for Book Miss Day 19 where we are going to be talking about the most talked about books of 2018. So I will see you then. Bye.